I think the reality is when people see well-run shops, they kind of say, oh, that looks easy. We can, you know, submit some grants and get some money and get our programs funded. And, uh, you know, that is true, but I think it takes a little bit of planning, a little bit of time, a little bit of effort to make sure that you have everything you need to properly execute a fundraising program at your organization. And there are a lot of steps in a fundraising cycle. You know, there's, you know, you have to identify who you're going after, you have to identify what your message is, what are you funding, what are your programs that you're funding, um, and why should people contribute to those programs. If you have a very small shop or if you're just you know working by yourself, the place to start is with your board of trustees or board of directors. It's extremely important that they are there with you and supporting you in your fundraising efforts. I think the place to start is to make sure that you have 100% participation from your board. Um, make that extremely clear um, as you solicit board members or get them um, on your team that they have to participate, they have to um, contribute to the organization so that they are well positioned to go out and ask others to support the organization.